or rather learn and eat, we will learn the difference of the following Chinese dim sum. Shaolong Bao Hakao Shark Spin and Shomai. We will also find out which one of these two is the better chili sauce. Shaolong Bao is a dumpling with a flavorful soup inside. Here, check it out. Hakao is a dumpling made of shrimp. Let's open this one so you can see the shrimp. See those shrimps inside? Shark spin dumpling is made of shark spin. But don't be deceived. Shark spin dumpling is usually made of imitation shark spin. Let's open this one to see what's inside. See that? Show mine is a dumpling usually made of pork or beef. Different names, different ingredients, but all yummy. But wait! You will need a chili sauce. Right? Now, which one is the better chili sauce? These two do not taste the same, do not smell the same, and are not made of the same kind of oil. This master shomai chili sauce smells very garlicky. The taste is okay, but very spicy. The oil looks like it's made up of cheap oil. This likumki chili oil smells like Chowking's chili oil. It also tastes like Chowking chili oil. And look at the oil. Looks very clean, looks very clear, and does not look cheap at all. Who wins this round? Likumki chili oil. Learning done? It's time to eat. Yeah, hey! Feeling also free. That's how you know he good chef. He just throw also using soy sauce and brown sugar, correct? Because Indonesian fried noodle. Most important ingredient in there is sweet soy sauce, ketchup manis. Gordon know how to get ketchup manis in Western country. So he make his own. Not bad, not bad. Remember for Asian cooking, don't use white sugar. White sugar for uncultured people. Two parts soy. Okay. So literally three tablespoons of soy sauce. Three tablespoon, three tablespoon, and then he pour half the bottle. Hiya. One nice tablespoon of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce, really good mix, okay? Kryptonite, it killed them all. They can't handle the smell. Asian privilege. If you have white people friend come visit you and they don't leave just microwave shrimp paste, they fuck off instantly. Two parts soy, one nice tablespoon of oyster sauce. A nice teaspoon of ground coriander. Gordon use feeling for all the ingredients so far. But then why you have kitchen skill at the back there, Gordon? Why has Nigella been around to cut her white powder? Now, the flavors in there are incredible. I like to get this sauce made up literally to Gordon. Why use whisk? Whisk is the worst kitchen utensil. Needs a nephew. You ever put whisk in your kitchen drawer? And then what happened? Kitchen drawer cannot open. Hiya. Whisk will fuck up your drawer. Don't use whisk. Proper Asian whisk. You want to mix thing? Just use chopstick to mix. Use chopstick. Awesome. Pat down, man. Look. And fat now. It's coming out the bacon. Okay? If the cameraman in Weijo, you fucked up. Look at the back there. The only cook. Watering butt. Every mouthful is packed with that wonderful Asian flavor. One 
wonderful Asian flavor. That sound a bit dirty. Uncle Roger, like, I'm gonna use that phrase with all the new auntie. <sighs> Sorry, children. <laughs> Hello, auntie, what you doing? Seriously, it will sound very vague because Asia, big place. You say Asia. What? I, uh, go back a bit. Go back, see? That don't even look like stuff. Break that up. You probably thinking Uncle Roger gonna say hi ya don't use metal utensil in non-stick pen but actually Gordon has special pen it non-stick but you can use metal in their free oh. Uncle Roger noticed because I meet Gordon recently <gasps> it a dream come true I go it right there the inside non-stick but you can use metal spoon in think about Auntie Helen it still feels so wrong from there Take your noodles and lay those noodles over those eggs. Finally, the noodle go in. It's incredible. Just press them down into the eggs and the bacon. Don't use your hand. You're going to burn yourself. A little seasoning. Togarashi spot. Togarashi again? Is this Gordon's version of MSG or something? Hiya. Why use it so much? Trust me, I've been to Indonesia more times than he has, let me tell you. Go Indonesia so many times for what? You still use wrong noodle, hi. An angle, okay? Good. Them up. And they get some coriander. Some bean sprouts. Well, those sprouts over there. Me goreng must be prepared. Toss. Okay. See, that's why you need to use wok. There's too much shit in the frying pan. There's not enough space for the food to move and cook. Pick up. Just pan down, please, Oscar. Just check this out. For that crispiness in the bacon. The See, everything's stacking on top of each other. Hiya, Gordon. He used to be wok fuckboy. You got so many wok. What happened to you now? Now you're just cooking with one frying pan? Just use wok. Don't wok talk yourself. All of a sudden, it's starting to fall. It's beautiful. It's overcrowded. See his pan? Over. Uncle Roger, watch carefully. From there. Okay, I'm watching. Oh, sauce. Fresh ginger, fresh garlic, soy. Now, one more toss. I don't know if my heart can handle this level of excitement. Sauce on noodle. Too much sauce, you're gonna drown it. Just coat those noodles so they're lightly glazed, but you don't want it soggy. Nothing worse than a soggy noodle, let me tell you. I, yeah, uh, how Gordon know the reason my ex-wife left? All my nephew out there, you ever have your noodle get so soggy and you look at your noodle and you go Open your eyes, look, beautiful Open my eye? My eye open, Gordon Just because it paste some sesame oil and of course some MSG But cannot give you uncle title back because you use udon noodle, hiya This much better than Gordon Ramen Weijo I give him that, but Gordon, he used to be walk fuckboy What happened to your walk? Did you send uncle Roger your last walk? Because I can send it back to you, no worry. Just let me know. Please go back to being what fuck boy. Frying pan fuck boy don't sound as good. If you have waste at home, throw it up. Give it to your enemy. Fuck up that drawer. <laughs> come, come, auntie, come. Come try some what? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I wish we got better close up. The color look good. But Uncle Roger can't tell if the noodle overcooked or undercooked. It like Pandora's walk. Listen, niece and nephew, dating is like job interview. You always have to lie to get the job. <laughs> Alright? So you see woman, you see man, you go on date, hide your crazy. Don't show your crazy for five years, then they stuck with you. And by the time too late, got house, got two kids, they can't leave. That's how you have happy marriage. <laughs>
tonkotsu mean bone. So tonkotsu ramen makes sense. It pop bone ramen. But katsu mean cutlet. So tonkatsu mean fried piece of pork. That completely different thing. Say it properly. Tonkotsu. Tonkotsu. I've already started a couple things. So for now, let's pop back to yesterday when I hadn't shaved yet. And we'll go to an Asian market. So we've just pulled up to this. This is him with Starbo. So the first thing we're going to grab is a bunch of pork bones and chicken bones for that really flavorful stock. Pork bone, chicken bone, correct. But nephew Nick, iron your shirt high. Uh, Howard graduate, can't afford I. Well, we got the pork belly, so let's get home and make some ramen. There's nothing like a good Japanese eggplant. Gotta find a place to put this for the drive. Ugh. Uncle Roger wish I didn't see that. Nephew Nick, apologize to the children. I... I'm gonna start making that amazing ramen broth. First, I'm gonna go in with all my chicken wings. Next, I'm gonna start taking these pork hocks that we got from the Asian grocery store. Pork hock? As you can see here, there is some meat on the outsides there, but you've got a nice big chunk of bone in there with tons of flavor. No, 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 pork hock, too much meat on that. You should be using pork bone, not pork hock. If you make tonkotsu broth with hock, you're gonna have too much meat falling off from broth. Make it dirty. Once I've tossed in this image and sent to your vegan fan, pick over water away, clean. Last dumpling plate! Fresh water. Large bag. Add four cloves of garlic, a few hunks of ginger, green onion, soy sauce. Try to increase the not best smearing. Okay. One third cup of this extremely pungent fish sauce. Fish sauce a bit weird. Sugar, about a half a cup or so. Then inside the bag, we're going to massage the heck out of our meat. Stop it. Stop it, hiya. Are you making cooking video or auditioning for bang bows? I feel bad for this guy girlfriend now. I think he will do to girlfriend what he do to pop belly. Spank her, tie her up, and dip her in fish sauce. That actually sound quite nice. Sorry, children. Now we're gonna roll this up extremely. Okay, but at least he marinate the meat. So not like Jamie Oliver, white pop belly. And cook this overnight for about if any of these running off the whites that what Uncle Roger called every marathon hour. I'll drop in my six eggs, place on a lid, but we're gonna do it for six minutes and nine seconds, which I promise you it sounds silly. Boston we joke. Here I have a really cold ice bath. Good, good, good technique. Straight into the ice bath to halt their cooking. For our ramen egg marinade, we'll combine three quarters cup of marinade, quarter cup good. of soy sauce, dark soy sauce. If you can't find dark soy ingredient all correct. Now it's time to peel our eggs. But I just wanted to show you guys first how perfect that yolk on the inside. Mm. I told you, it's amazing. Uncle Roger feel like I need shower after watching this video. Drop them right in that soy bath. I'll cover these with plastic wrap and allow them to soak for several hours. Ah, niece and nephew, you see this? If you use plastic wrap like this, the top of egg won't be marinated because it's touching plastic, not the liquid. It will have one white spot on it. Pro tip, use paper towel, like how Way of Ramen Channel do with egg. Our eggs are all set. Next, we're going to make our tare. It's a ah, you're making tare. This already better than Jamie and Nigella ramen. Tare is the soul of ramen. It's the flavoring for the broth. First, we're going to start with our dad. Three sheets of kombu. And really let this heat up, but we don't want to boil it. We're actually looking to Correct. Don't boil kombu. Basically, dashi is this umami-packed Japanese soup stock. It's used in so many different things, and this is how we're going to build the foundation. This guy really loves shot of his hand. So many close-up of his hand. Is he hand model of something? Imagine if Uncle Roger make cooking video, and all you see is... Cup of bonito flakes. Okay. Dried shiitake mushrooms. I'll turn off the heat and set it aside. Once that incredible dashi is done, we'll strain it into a nice large... Oh, pot too fast. Some liquid fell out. Don't waste food. But now, keeping about two cups of our dashi, we'll create our tare by adding one cup of soy. Oh, good. One this tare look like it got so much umami. So no need MSG. Six cloves of garlic. And then about two tablespoons of black peppercorns. Now we're going to let okay. our tare... Okay, tare, not bad. Now for our rum. Please do not use dry... Get right at home. Last! Support your local Japanese stock. Ramen noodles are very different in that they need to be alkalinated. That's Correct. It's just a fancy way of saying that we put baking soda in the dough. But another small correction. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. But ramen, you need sodium carbonate. Uncle Roger, so chemistry. Switch on that spaghetti head and then you're ready to roll. 
I have to say, it looked pretty good. These look absolutely fantastic. Get it with a nice spray of bread flour, just so nothing sticks. Now, our ramen is ready to be cooked. Right here is our 20... What? What? That is disgusting. Why? No more dumplings! Time to say goodbye!